Hi Cancerians, how are you doing today? Today is a 15 day. 15 is the devil and 5 and 1 equals 6 and that's the lover's card. So we're going to have a look at what's tying us to our habits, our things that make us small and what's raising us up to a godly power or love in other words. So Cancers, what do we need to know today? For cancer. So that's one card for the devil and one card for the love. <laughs> so Cancerians, let's have a look. So, wow, ego. So this is exactly the same as the devil. So it's a good match, isn't it? So when we try to move away from habits and the ego, because the devil is the ego, this explains it very well in this card. We're attracted to things that keep us small. Habits. What are your habits? Too much food, too much drink, too much sex, too much gambling, and too much self-criticizing ourselves. Maybe it's guilt, maybe it's shame. It's all these things that keep us tied down to a trap because we keep trying to get out, but it pulls us down. Until we accept how we are, and say, okay, yes, I do that, and then go, do I want to keep doing that? Uh, no. How am I going to get out of it? So it's like a deep, dark well. If you're right at the bottom, how do you get out? You have to realise you're in the well to start off with. So we have to realise what are we keeping here that's amazingly keeping us tied down. Just as a Siamese cat can run away from that lead, these guys here can take the chains off. It's about taking the chain off today to realise you've got freedom. You see, the things about habits and being trapped is that people are very familiar and people love familiarity. But also, a lot of people don't like change. They think they do. They believe they do. But they actually are quite happy being trapped. So for our friends with the cancer sign, the little crubbies, we need to understand that the ego is just there. It's what we're born with, but it's how we develop in our environment. So sometimes we've been pressurized to be with people, to act in a certain way. But as long as we can realize our self-responsibility, and our own path, then we can get out of this trap quite well. You see, this Siamese cat is a very royal, regal cat, and she's dressed in all these jewels. But when she dies, she can't take that with her. So putting too much emphasis on that perhaps isn't the best idea. So how do you get out of this trap, and how do you formulate with the lover's which is a choice, which is the lady is aspiring to ask the, her guardian angels and her higher self for the love to find out how to get out of this temptation. So we have the eight of winter here. So we have your bird coming out of the cage. Either they've opened the cage and they didn't realise it was locked or this bird has said, come out here, let's learn from these other lovebirds. So having this trap inside has been comfortable for the bird, maybe, maybe not, because sometimes a lot of people realise I'm in a trap, how do I get out? So this is a trap of the mind, the mindset. So for you guys today, just watch what you're thinking. Are you thinking that, oh, it's no good because of this? But we can all change. We can all break a habit. It only takes um, a month, maybe two months to every single day break that habit. It takes 
but a moment to form a bad habit. It takes longer sometimes to break it. But each little step, each little, he has to hop on there, maybe he'll hop there, hop there, hop there, get a bit of courage to talk to these guys. And then he realise, wow, I have my own power. So getting out of the trap for you guys to touch on a love aspect is so important. So let's see further the moonology cards. But watching your thoughts and what you're telling yourself and what you're, you're magnetised to, what people are, is pulling you in. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so you have be bold and make the first move. Be bold and make the first move. So this can apply to your new way of thinking of saying, yes, do you know, I'm going to break that habit. Um, there are a lot of habits and I'm not going to go into them because you personally will know what sort of habits these are to break. So. Because this is about twin flames and love, maybe some of you are quite frightened about stepping forward. You're feeling comfortable staying in your belief about yourself and maybe you're thinking, oh, I could never, ever take that step into what I want to do. So feeling small, feeling trapped, it is no good. Moving on is a lot better. So I wish you all the best, Cancerians, today and we'll see you again next time lots of love